Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, as you can probably tell from the title, I'm going to be doing a what I ate as a fat kid, basically. So it's basically gonna be like a what I ate in a day video, but it's just gonna be foods that I used to eat when I was younger. If you don't know what I used to look like when I was that age, I will insert pictures on the screen. But basically, I have always loved food. As you can tell from my channel, I love food. That wasn't any different when I was younger. So when I was younger, I used to be quite the chubby, fat child. And I was not ashamed about it. And I used to just eat whatever the frick I wanted. Some of the stuff that I'm going to eat, I feel like I'm still going to like because... I haven't, well most of the food that I'm gonna eat, I literally haven't tried in years, so I'm honestly not sure how I'm gonna feel about it, but I think that I'm gonna like most of it because <laughs> my taste buds have not really changed since I was eight. Like, I still like the same kind of foods. I'm excited to basically relive my childhood and trigger myself. <laughs> so I just picked three different meals that I used to eat really frequently. Three for breakfast, three for lunch, three for dinner, three for dessert, and so at each part of the day, I'm just gonna make what I ate for breakfast, for example, and then kind of like react to it on camera, I guess, because I, once again, have no idea what it's gonna taste like. So <laughs> I'm really excited. I already went to the store and bought everything that I need for the video, so I have everything here. It's not even really a cheat day, like, it's just kind of a random day. Um, right now it is 8.45 in the morning, so it would be around technically when I would have breakfast. So without further ado, I don't know why I said that. If you watched my recent mukbang with my mom where we've relived a bunch of childhood memories, that's kind of like what inspired this video. Um, we talked about the fact that I used to always <laughs> eat cereal and peanut butter. Well, specifically cocoa pebbles and peanut butter so i have cocoa pebbles today and then i used to melt peanut butter in the bowl mix the cocoa pebbles in and then pour milk in it and then another thing i always used to eat is cream of wheat which i don't think i've ever made myself so i'm just gonna follow the directions on the back i guess of course it can't just be cream of wheat i used to also put a shit ton of brown sugar in my cream of wheat which I remember being really bombed, so I'm really excited to try that. I also always used to have scrambled eggs. Like, scrambled eggs were legit my favorite. I always used to have to have the Kraft, or I guess any American cheese, but American cheese on top of it melted. It was like my favorite thing. I think I ate that for breakfast more than anything else. If you watched any of my previous cooking videos, like my macaroni pizza video, or my cheesecake video, or anything like that, you know that my kitchen's really, really tiny. Like. It's just, it's not ideal for filming, so I'm going to try to film some of me making it. Go. Oh, shoot. My stove's still on. Classic. The way I remember us eating it is pouring or putting brown sugar on top of it and then kind of waiting for the brown sugar to melt in so that's what i'm gonna try to do so i'm just gonna set this aside and then i think what's gonna happen is the brown sugar is gonna kind of like melt in i think And I know my dad always used to put like a topper to this thing to make the cheese melt, but I don't have one. So I'm just going to cover it with <laughs> a cutting board. So now comes the fun part, which is finally taste testing. So I have the cereal. I think I might be almost out of milk. Hopefully I have enough. Oh yeah, I have enough. Okay. <laughs> I'm excited. So here's what it looks like up close. Okay. Yep. <laughs> I 
Smells so good. Mmm. And the best part about this, I remember, is that it's kind of rich and so the milk at the end tastes so good because it's kind of refreshing. I had some good taste when I was a kid, not gonna lie. This is like a nine out of 10. I was right. It does melt. So you can see it's kind of like melted. Like that's brown sugar right there. <laughs> I'm excited. I have literally not had this in so long. That's bomb too. <laughs> oh my gosh. I used to do exactly what I'm doing right now where I'll just take off mostly brown sugar in the bite and then some cream of wheat and so I'll always run out of brown sugar and then I used to just add more. <laughs> Maybe you guys can see that. Mmm. This is like a 8 out of 10. And then last but not least, I have the eggs. I'm actually most scared for these. <laughs> I don't even like eat eggs plain anymore. So I haven't had scrambled eggs in so long. And then American cheese, it just looks kind of like, I don't know, we'll see. It's honestly not bad. It's actually like pretty good. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. <laughs> I would say this is like a seven and a half, mostly because I still feel like it'd probably be better to me now with different cheese, but I mean, scrambled eggs and cheese, that's still good. That was the breakfast portion of this video. I still have a crap ton of other stuff that I'm gonna make today. So yeah, I will just see you guys for lunch. Hey guys, so it's been a couple hours since I had breakfast. I had some interesting things when I was <laughs> a kid for lunch. Okay, so the first thing that is gonna be the weirdest that I think out of all the things today is what I'm most nervous to try. Get ready, guys. Um, <laughs> I used to make top ramen this kind. Um, I don't use the flavoring when I make this, but I still got the soy sauce flavor just because I'm vegetarian. Um, but I used to always use the chicken flavor. Completely strain it of water, like no broth at all and then add cream of mushroom soup to it i also don't put any water in the cream of mushroom soup even though it's condensed and then i also used to always i know that sounds gross but i always used to also eat dino nuggets with it but i'm obviously vegetarian now and it just wouldn't be the same to have i mean dino nuggets if you've had them are like so i'm just gonna try it with just the top ramen and the cream of mushroom soup but if you want to try it with chicken nuggets it's pretty bomb if I'm remembering correctly. And then <laughs> I also always used to have my favorite pizza ever that I also mentioned in my mukbang with my mom is Totino's cheese pizza. It's so freaking good. Like I, I think I haven't had it since I think like middle school, maybe elementary school, but I remember I used to be obsessed with this. And then I also always used to put ranch on my pizza which i also have not done in a long time so i'm excited to see how that tastes and then last but not least when i was in elementary school my mom always used to pack me cosmic brownies by lil debbie lil debbie is my queen i love all of her snacks i think i'm still gonna like these once again i haven't had these probably since elementary school at school i would always eat dessert first like i could not wait to have my cosmic brownies so <laughs> okay so i am finally finished making everything so i am going to start with dessert because that's what i always used to do when i was a kid so mm, i haven't had these in so long so for those who don't know what these look like they're not even really like brownies they're just like i don't even know how to describe it it is a brownie, but it's not at the same time, so. And they also have these little, what are they? Chocolate chip candies on the top. <laughs> oh 
Oh my god. That is still a 10. 10 out of 10. Holy crap. So I think my camera cut out while I was tasting the cosmic brownie, but I ate all of it. So now I'm gonna be trying the top ramen. So this is what it looks like now, which I'm kind of nervous about. Like I remember it being really good, but it could also be really gross. I mean, that's actually honestly not bad. I feel like if you like her mushroom soup, you would like this. And I know a lot of people are gonna comment and literally call me insane, but try it before you call me insane. I feel like, especially if I had dino nuggets, cause like the chicken nuggets are crispy, right? So they're like crispy. Just try it. If you can have chicken nuggets, get dino nuggets and try it. And last but not least, I have the Totino's pizza, which I am just so excited about. And I also refuse to have any other ranch besides Hidden Valley. Probably now too, I feel like Hidden Valley would just always be my favorite because that's like what I grew up with. So this is what it looks like. It looks good actually. I can't. This is just as good as I remember it. That's another 10 out of 10. So two 10 out of 10s for lunch. Mm. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna film dinner in a couple hours and then dessert right after just because I always used to eat dessert right after dinner. <laughs> I'm most excited for dessert because I had good taste in sweets when I was younger. I'll just see you guys in a couple hours. Hey guys, so I hope you can see me okay. I don't really have that good of lighting in my kitchen so I'm like I have an overhead light right here, but it would be like shining down on my face and I hate that kind of lighting, so I'm just not gonna put it on. Anyways, it's dinner time now, and I'm or dinner and dessert time, and I'm excited. So the three things that my sister and I thought of that we both had pretty consistently for dinner <laughs> are one, butter noodles, which is exactly what it sounds like. You literally just cook pasta. I always like angel hair. So you just cook it in boiling water for however long you want. And then once again, you add butter because, or margarine, because I didn't like butter, I liked margarine. And then while the pasta is still warm, you add Parmesan cheese and mozzarella cheese. What? That's not right. And then while the pasta is still warm, you add Parmesan cheese. I like to add two different kinds. Parmesan cheese, like the grainy kind that's like that you shake or whatever, and then also the shredded kind. So that's literally how you make that. I also loved Kraft Mac and Cheese, the shapes kind. Actually, SpongeBob shapes used to be my favorite just because, I don't know, I think that's like the first shapes that I had. And so then I was like obsessed with it, but I got like these little dog paws. Obviously you just make this according to how the package says, but then it says half a tablespoon of unsalted butter. I would definitely add more than that. And then last but not least, my mom and I also talked about this when we filmed our mukbang. Muffin pizzas. So you basically just take English muffins, cut them in half, then you place pizza sauce on them. I just, I don't remember what kind we used to use, but it's just, I just got plain like ragu homemade style. And then you just put mozzarella cheese on top of it, however much you want. I always liked extra. <laughs> then you just bake it. I don't even know what temperature to bake it at. But the English muffins are already cooked, so it's not like cooking dough. So I think I'll just basically cook them until the cheese is melted. I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna come back and have my dessert and my dinner together.
I won't make it easy for you now You got two minutes of my time Okay, so I'm finally done making everything and I have everything to left of me right now and I'm so excited. Okay, first I'm gonna start with the mac and cheese just because I've had Kraft mac and cheese somewhat recently in a cheat day I did this summer. I'm excited, I mean, I know it's gonna be good. Mm-hmm. I don't know why, I feel like the shapes are just like, the texture is so much better mm -mm -mm. I would say these are like a mm, 8.5 out of 10 9 I feel like I used to have Kraft mac and cheese the most like that's what my mom would always leave my babysitter to make for me, my sister and I or me and my sister it's just super nostalgic anyways next Butter noodles, which I added more Parmesan cheese on top of it because I think that's what I used to do. I haven't had these again since like, probably had them in middle school, but definitely not high school, I don't think. They're so good, <laughs> oh my God. If you like, okay, it sounds weird, but if you like kind of dry pasta, like, or thicker pasta, because I hate when my spaghetti or my fettuccine Alfredo or whatever is runny. If you like thicker, more kind of like dry pasta, dry sounds bad, but you know what I mean? You'd like this. I used to also put bacon in this, but once again, I don't eat meat anymore, but I think it would still be good with bacon. Um, I should have gotten those bacon bits or whatever that are fake vegan, or that are fake bacon, so they're actually vegan. The butter noodles are like a nine, eight and a half, eight and a half. They're really good. They're just plain, obviously. So next, muffin pizzas. I'm so excited. <laughs> I feel like I'm laughing after like every bite or every first bite, but everything is just like so nostalgic that the second you taste it, it just reminds me exactly of what I used to eat. This is still really good too. Honestly, Nothing that I ate when I was younger, I haven't hated. Like all of it, I still really like. Muffin pizzas are like a solid eight. They're still good. I mean, obviously they're plain, but I like plain food, so. Now I'm going to go on to dessert, which I am so excited for. So excited for. So first I'm just gonna have Reese's because obviously I know what Reese's taste like. Chocolate peanut butter combinations have always been my favorite. Hence, I forgot the ice cream, it's like up there so i have to grab it because i left it out um because i wanted it to be soft because i like when my ice cream is soft so that's chocolate peanut butter flavored and then this is chocolate peanut butter okay mm. reese's is so good dude 10. i forgot how good those are next is honey buns which I technically used to have these for lunch and for dinner. Honey buns were like my favorite thing ever. If you've never had one, what even really is it? It's like, it's almost kind of like a cinnamon roll. And they're from Little Debbie once again. So good. Mmm. I used to love microwaving these too. I would bake it, but I feel like it would just dry it out. But these warmed up are so good. This is another 10. 
Last but not least, I literally saved what I am most excited for for last. You guys have no idea. My heart's actually <laughs> beating kind of fast. Oh my God, I can tell that it's soft because I just kind of squished it. So it is Tillamook chocolate peanut butter ice cream. My sister and I used to down these. We were actually just talking about because we were talking about me filming this video. When we got our wisdom teeth taken out, we <laughs> just ate this for like, I don't even know, a week straight. But I love it because as you can see, there are chunks of peanut butter in there or like thick ribbons. Like they don't skimp on the peanut butter. I'm excited. Dude, that is literally just as good as I remember. Oh my gosh. This isn't even a, technically a cheat day. I mean, it kind of is. <laughs> but this literally might be like my favorite, one of my favorite cheat days that I've ever filmed. Like look at that piece of peanut butter. Can you see that? That is the end of me eating how I ate as a kid. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If any of you make any of like the more weird stuff that I used to eat, please DM me on Instagram pictures of it. I love when you guys DM me that you made stuff that I made. So yeah, I will just see you guys in my next video and talk to you then.